So Sean never called or texted or anything since New Year's Eve? No, and why would he? I mean, the last thing he saw was me kissing Aiden. Ugh, I don't know, maybe Hex and Donahue just aren't meant to be together. We have fun together, but you know, Sean's kiss is like, ah. Uh, and Aiden's kiss is like, eh. Listen to me, you are 10 years too young to settle for eh. Until things start sagging, you hold out for ah. Uh. And this is what's sad. The guys that want me, I don't want. And the guy I want disappears after kissing me. <laughs> These gifts are just a hint of my feelings for you. There's so much I want to say, but I need to say it in person. Meet me at the fountain at the park tomorrow, 2 o'clock. I can't wait. Susie Q? What's going on? Sean! Oh, uh, I'm going to kiss the dragon. Oh, right. It's your 21st birthday. Oh, you knew? Of course. Plus, the sash didn't hurt. Hey, man. Thanks for stopping her. I'm Aiden. Oh, I know. Sean. Uh, oh, I'm way home. Why don't I help make sure you get these two home safe? Yay! Sean's coming to the dragon. Sue. Like you. I really like you. I think you mean this guy. Mm. Here we go. Up, up, up. I have something else to say. I think you're gonna throw up. Oh, God. When people throw up, it makes me want to. Oh. <coughs> oh, no. All my leaders are in the trash. <gasps> Does this mean I'm gonna be drunk now? No, that's not how it works. Okay, lean back a bit. There you go. Now you're gonna feel good for about 10 minutes, and then after that, not so good again. Hmm. Is all the vomit gone? Is the vomit gone? Will you kiss me? <laughs> uh, I'm Sean. Are you talking about me or are you talking about Aiden? Mm-hmm. Sue, so you can be a very frustrating person. Hope you're worth waiting for. Always happy to see a Donahue. I mean, all Donahues in general, not a specific Donahue. I love all Donahues equally, and so on and so forth. And what have you? I was wondering if you had the box it came in. I'm going to give it to my pen pal, Juliet, in England. What? No, no, you can't send that to England. I don't know how to say this, but that snow globe is really important to me, so if you're not going to keep it, I would appreciate it if you could give it back to me. Of course I'll give it back to you for an item of equal or greater value. Okay, I'm willing to make that trade, but I must warn you, I am a very tough negotiator. Mom, can I pick your brain? Sure, but I don't know why you'd want to. I just came in here from the kitchen, and I literally have no idea why. Well, I was thinking of giving this snow globe to Sean. You know, I thought it'd be cool because he always calls me his special snowflake. And also, I was thinking of telling him how I feel. Really? Yeah. Ever since we kissed, I've been trying to find the perfect moment, but I feel like I just need to lay it all on the line, and then whatever happens, happens. Where are you going with my snow globe? Actually, I'm pretty sure it's my snow globe. <laughs> you remember the promise I made to you? Mm, I hope it was to give me my snow globe and car back and let me go home. <laughs> Very flattering, but I, I kind of like someone else now. That's actually why I need the snow globe, to give it to the guy I like. You cheating on me? No, 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 please. Derek, 
Doctor, don't you see? You did better yourself, but you didn't do it for me. You did it for you. Now it's time to prove that you're a better man by giving me that snow globe and letting me go. You're right. This should go to the man you love over my dead body. Got my snow globe back. Well, I have decided to give Sean my snow globe. You know, because he always calls me his special snowflake. So I figured I would just do it and tell him how I feel and that I liked the kiss. I liked it a lot. What do you think? I'm over rehearsed. Okay, teeth check. You're good. Booger check? Clean. Okay, this is it, Brad. This is really it. Who's that? Oh, then you see her too? It's probably nothing. I mean, she looks older, like 24. Sean's 24. Yeah, but she doesn't even look like a college student. Sean's not in college either. He's in medical school. Well, maybe it was purely a medical hug, like a, like a front Heimlich or something. I didn't see any food shooting out of her mouth. Oh my God, Brad, how am I supposed to compete with that? Thank you. I'm so glad to see you. You are? Oh my God, you're not gonna believe this. I literally just got it. This second, the email, I'm in. I got accepted to the Delman Fellowship. What? In Ghana. What? Yeah. I gotta call my friend Kelly. She's the one who told me about it in the first place. Her husband did it a couple years ago, said it changed his life, made him a better doctor. Oh. So I'm leaving in a month and I'm gonna be gone all summer. I'm going to Ghana. <laughs> well, if you got into Ghana, you gotta go to Ghana. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what you got in there? Because if it's a bottle of champagne, break that puppy out. No, 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 not champagne. No, no. But Ghana, wow! I know, I'm so pumped. It's such a great program, and they do a lot of charity work, too. So these are... I guess when it comes to young love, timing is everything.